Hi all, welcome to the tutorial for embedded systems. We will be dealing third module in this video and the topic is high level language based development. In this video we will be covering these two points like introduction on high level language based development, high level language to machine language conversion process, advantages of high level language based development. And what is high level language based development? In assembly language based programming, it is highly time consuming, tedious and it requires a highly skilled programmer or developer. So that we will be using high level language based development. Any high level languages like C, C++ or Java with a supported cross compiler for any specific or target processor can be used for embedded firmware development. Most commonly used high level language is C since C is a well defined program and the steps involved in high level language based embedded firmware development is similar to the assembly language based development and except that except there is a difference in that like in high level language based development we will be using cross compiler for conversion of source file to object file whereas the conversion of source file to object file in assembly language will be done by an assembler. Repeating, the steps involved in high level language based embedded firmware development is similar to the assembly language based development except that conversion of source file written in high level language to object file is done by a cross compiler whereas in assembly language based development it is carried out by an assembler. The program written in any of the high level language, it will be served with corresponding language extensions like .c for C or .c++ cpp for C++ etc. And we can use any text editors like Notepad, WordPad or any text editors provided by any IDE tool for writing the program. And most of the high level languages supports modular programming approach hence the source multiple source files will be considered as modules and the source files corresponding to each module is represented by a file with corresponding language extensions and the translation of high level source code to object code is done by a cross compiler in high level language based development. Then we will move on to high level language to machine language conversion. As we already told high level languages will be modular programming approach. So each source file will be considered as module and those modules source files will be converted to object file by module cross compilers and these formed object files different object files will be formed there and these object files will be linking by using linker or locator with the help of library files will be making an absolute object file and that absolute object file will be converted to machine code which is a hex file by using object to hex file converter and this is all about high level language to machine language conversion and we'll be moving to advantages of high level language based development there are three advantages like a reduced development time developer independency and portability reduced development time in this developer requires only little or less knowledge about hardware details or the architecture the developer or programmer will be only requiring the knowledge about the syntax of the high level language so the rest the rest of the things like uh, architecture details and hardware details will be taken care by the cross compiler used for this high level language so the ramp up time required by the developer in understanding this hardware details and architecture details is reduced is get reduced and this makes reduced development time and next one is developer independency the syntax used by most of the high level languages are universal and a program written in high level language can be easily be understood by a second person knowing the syntax of language. Certain instructions may require little knowledge of the target hardware details like register set, memory map etc. Apart from these, the high level language based firmware development makes the firmware developer independent. This is this makes developer independency 
and the third one is portability. Target applications written in high level languages are converted to target processor by a cross compiler that we have already told that high, in high level language based development the conversion of source files to object files is done by a cross compiler and the application written in high level language for a particular target processor can be converted to another processor application and the process application with less or little modifications followed by recompiling the application and these are the advantages of high high level language based development and what we have learned in this tutorial is high level language with cross compiler can be used for embedded firmware development most commonly used high level language is c and we and most of the uh, high level languages are modular programming and we have discussed the high level language to machine language conversion process and we have already discussed about the ad three advantages of high level language based development reduced development time developer independency and portability and this is all about this tutorial about high level language based development thank you all